Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today I want to show you two different ways you can remove the background from a photo in Cricut Design Space. So first, let's upload a photo. Okay, we are going to do this snowman photo first. So I've clicked it, click open, Okay, so I've come to this, this screen here where it gives me all of my different options to start with getting rid of this green background. I only want the snowman. So the first thing you want to do is hit complex and then continue. Now, if you are an Access member, you will have this new nifty feature where you can automatically remove the background. And it works beautifully for high contrast photos like this. My snowmen are mostly white. The background is a solid green. I'm gonna hit remove background. And just like that, it is done. Apply and continue. And this is an instance where I would want this to be a print then cut image. Um, but if you did just happen to want the snowman, you could use this as a cut image. Um, and just clean it up a little bit once you get into design space. So that is how easily the new feature works. But let's look at a different way. Let me upload another photo. So upload, upload images, browse. And we're going to do one that is going to be a little more common for most people. This is an ornament design that I have. And right now I have it on a white background and this white background is what we would want to remove. So again, we're gonna to come to complex and continue. Now watch, if I just use this remove background, um, everything looks really good, right? Okay, let's hit apply and continue. Now here's the cut image that you're going to end up with if you do this. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and upload it into the project so you can see the issues that it has. I'm going to add this to my canvas. Okay, you can see the issues here. Look at all this choppiness that happened and it didn't get these um, cuts out of the letters correctly and it's really just a messy file. And there's nothing you can do about that. You cannot go back and clean this up in any way. So what we want to do instead, let me get this image again. Complex again, just like we did the first time. But let's not use this automatic. Let's use the manual. So I'm going to select the wand here and just click in any of the white space and it starts to delete. Okay, now we want to get more precise, so I'm going to make this larger. I'm just clicking the arrow and making it all larger. Then you can come and click in any of these areas that still have the white, and it will start deleting it all. Okay, now um, I could come back in and click these out as well, but I'm just going to stop here for now, and I'm going to hit Apply and Continue, and I'm going to do this cut image here and I'm going to upload. So here's the recent one we just did. Let me add it to the canvas. And look how much cleaner that is. It doesn't have any of those messy edges. I'm going to put this other one in so you can compare these two side by side. Look at the difference here. This piece on earth is much, much, much smoother. This you could just send right to your machine and you could cut this and it would be fine. This one over here is very choppy and just not a very good quality. So you want to play around with it. Um, let me come back to the upload screen. <clears throat> Let's just pull in these snowmen again. Where did they go? Here they are. And we'll do this the other way. We'll do this with um, the magic wand eraser instead of the automatic background, just so that you can see how it's done both ways on um, you know, the same photo. So 
this one, this magic wand, is really not working anywhere near as well as that removed background. When I did the removed background, you know, I only had to click this once and it all removed. When I'm using the wand, it's leaving a lot of leftover stuff in here. We can try to play with the options. We can try upping the color tolerance maybe to 25. Um, and modify this to maybe three and come in and click and see what happens but it's just really not gonna work anywhere near as well as the remove background so let's um, revert back to the original and um, we'll do the remove background again so you can just see side by side how quickly it does it as opposed to when we tried that manual there it is. Beautiful, beautifully done. Okay, so that's really it. You have got your um, automatic removed background if you have access to Cricut Access. And um, you have this manual version where you can go in and do things piece by piece. And you really just want to play around with whatever file it is you're trying to, to remove the background on and find out what's going to work best for that specific file. That's all I have for you today. We'll see you next time.